we have some updates, some information that may shed light on why Blue Lock Season 2 is basically PNG frames being dragged. And my understanding was basically it's really simple. If you look at the studio doing this, it's 8-Bit Studios. And simply go check what 8-Bit Studios is covering back in Season 1, which is 2022 versus now. They only had Blue Lock and like one other project. This year, they have Irregular Magic High School, which they butchered. Season 3 was a fucking embarrassment to Mahoka, man. I'm so sad that's how turned out Mahoka turned out. Slime. Tensura also got done dirty. Honestly, it was a pretty mid-adaptation. Like, Tensura deserves so much better. Then there's some other minor projects and Blue Lock. If you think about it, don't you think that the studio took on way too much fucking work, right? I don't want to hear, you know, motherfuckers defending corporations saying, No, you don't know how this shit works. The studio only had so much resources to fucking, you know, work with. Who do you think decides this shit? Why do you go and defend the studios when clearly the higher decision makers of the producers in the studios are trying to min-max and profit, you know, maximize the profits so that the animators can't even work on these projects. They're overloaded. There's a scope creep. They all care about just milking the money that's left. One second. And here, we have animators spoke up about season two bad animation. Someone from 8-Bit Studios, apparently. Who knows how true this could be, but uh, it's an actual animator from 8-Bit Studios. English translation. I worked on the second episode of Blue Lock, and I'll tell you why its animation was so bad. Months ago, I started working on a second season of Blue Lock. One in which I would work not only on one episode, nor two or three, but rather five episodes. I started working on the second episode in which I had to take care of 20 cuts, basically animating the scenes from zero. Basically layout. But curiously, the problems hadn't started at this point. I'm sure that not only but I, but rather all the animators that worked on this episode didn't do the job that ended up being published. Despite the low pay and negligible time, we did the best we could, and I do not blame the animators. When I say fuck 8-Bit Studio, when I say Fuck the answer studio for messing up Blue Lock and Tower of God respectively. I'm not shitting on the animators, but, but the decision makers that decided to take upon these projects when they clearly know that they cannot give the proper work or love into them. And we're just gonna get a mid-adaptation then. There were only there were many of my animations that were capadas? Caparas, which in their final version. What the, what the what the fuck is caparas, bro? Spanish to English. Capat capes? We got any Spanish people? What does capada mean? I don't know. Anything carried in a cloak? I I have no clue. Means okay, we're getting off topic. In their final version, basically they eliminated all the movement, some frames, or they just made them differently. So like, the animators had the movement included. Right? Well, like, this guy is saying, like, bro, I've worked on so much extra bullshit. Not one, not two, but three, but five episodes, right? 20 cuts, starting from zero. But the stuff that they worked on wasn't even published. Before the final product got published, they cut it. But this fault doesn't lie in the one that came after me, since they probably did all they could with the little time they had. These problems, just like in Jujutsu Kaisen in the past, or in the vast majority of animes, are a result of production committees, and this is the most important part. Production committee. The decision makers that are basically just managing, this studio gets this much work, this studio gets that much work, and then the animators are just given an impossible amount of burden that they cannot deliver. Production committee of certain animes that take projects simply thinking about the money and not the condition of its workers. Exactly. And it's because of this that I didn't work on any other episode of Blue Lock. Once I finished working on the second episode, I decided to get out and just like I thought, the final result ended up in disaster. Yeah, get the fuck out of there, man, if you can. If you're, if you're privileged enough to be able to get other jobs and you can just leave this, get the fuck out. This made me feel like this is a job that I'm not proud to upload. Exactly. And the most just pretentious, audacious, ridiculous thing is that at the end of every Blue Lock episode, do you know what you see? It's the credits that show their entire cast. Like, these motherfucker 8-Bit Studios 
they literally placed their names of all the people that worked on it, I guess, to like flex. They're like, yo, we're so proud of this work. If I was them, I'd be like, please hide my name. I don't want people to know that I worked on this. I got permission to publish this one of my 22 cuts. I got no clue what Kapadas can be translated to. I didn't want to localize the term either, since I don't know much about the animation, so I didn't want to misinform people. I guess a localization could be capped. Also, Martin, I think this is the uh, leaker, right? Said that his original plan was working on five episodes, but after seeing the state of the production, he bowed out after working on just episode two. And you know what? I wish every fucking animator could just walk out. I wish that the labor movement that the workers like employees like dynamic between like the employer to employees were so balanced out that employees the animators could realize that this is bullshit i don't want my name attached to this this is a terrible adaptation they all just walk out and blue lock season two gets canceled yep yep i would rather season two get canceled right now give another year or two make some other studio that actually cares about this come back and adapt it Truly, that is way better than having a mid-rush product. And you know there's gonna be retards. Little children that have no idea how this shit works saying, you should be grateful that you're even getting this. If you make videos like this, if you criticize them, you're not gonna have block anymore. I am perfectly fine with that. Take your fucking time. I can wait five years, it doesn't matter. But like, you send so many stupid signals because you can only glaze the corporate greed as your first intuitive thing that's your reaction other people say we want better blue lock you go in saying oh you're so ungrateful oh wah, wah. let's look at the source of the tweet just to confirm as if this would confirm anything and i i think this is basically the start i got no clue what's going on here let's read some of the comments the animator also reposted png lock memes on his twitter account w animator l committee board exactly when i say fuck this studio, 8-Bit Studio, does not mean that the animators are to blame. It's the production committee, the decision makers that decided to take on a project that they cannot deliver on. U20 Copers, are we finished? I mean, nothing has been discussed in terms of, are they saving the budget for U20? And listen, I'm always going to cope. I'm always going to hope and I'm going to cope and I'm going to hope for the best. But I'm always going to expect the worst. The only logical conclusion that I can come to right now of them making these couple episodes as just slide frame lock, they're saving the budget <laughs> for U20. <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. At this point, the copium's more hype than the anime, might as well. Honestly, the best thing that came out of Blue Lock because of all this bullshit is the community memes. Everyone shitting on Blue Lock together. Other people being more aware of like malpractices in the anime industry of different committees and production studios, right? Colluding and trying to take in more projects without thinking about their employees, the work burden. All they care about is, you know, filling their pockets. They don't care about Blue Lock. They only care about e e like... If you made a better anime, I bet you could make way more money, but to them, that's too fucking hard. These are fucking parasites that just shows up, just wants to fill their pockets, just like a little bit, not even thinking about the long-term, just short-term profits, then they fuck off. It's terrible. Getting hyped about your boys to ultimately see them fail and disappoint you is 95% of the soccer fan experience. True. There was no hope to begin with. Ah, uh, there was, and we're still hoping, but let's, 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 you know, maintain our expectations. But that's how losers would think. I agree with this. I think that like people that think like this, it's such a loser mindset. Listen, you should be practical. You shouldn't be naive and, you know, delude yourself into thinking, oh, it's going to be better for sure. No, that's also the other end of the spectrum. But this too, right? If you just give up, that's just a loser fucking mindset. I will cope to the end. True, brother. Brother, you never even got to start. It's over. This is the quality level. If you're just hoping it's magically going to get better for one episode arc, it's not. You don't know about that, right? No one completely knows. And logically, it makes sense that they would save the budget during the low priority episodes and give it all to U20, right? That is the most logical conclusion that you could come to. You cannot decisively just assume this, but that's definitely a possibility. And the only way to see is find out for ourselves, right? Your options are A, watch it, which rewards their behavior and lets them continue it. Stay mad. That's kind of true, right? It's like when... Video game publishers make these woke, stupid DEI games and say, this is for the modern audience. What happens? People don't play it. <laughs> what happened to Concord? The $400 million project, right? 
<laughs> Sony did a complete refund. Their team is disbanded, right? This is how you make actual change. You want to make a stance? Stop fucking playing Genshin Impact. You know, boycott Genshin. It's another example. Just stop playing it. Or you can make more videos like me, farm it, make other people know more aware of this shit and just fucking shit on it. Stop watching it. It's just ruining the story for you slash your imagination anyways. Hope enough people also stop watching it so the project fails. One day, an animator who has some care about the product may take over, but it'll be many years. And that's the thing, right? If you truly want change as a consumer, the best thing you can do is stop fucking watching, stop consuming, walk away until these corporate corporations get their wallets hurt. That's the only thing they care about. As soon as their pockets start hurting because people are not watching or consuming or buying their products, then reform happens. The plus side, of, plus side of B is the future manga adaptations will have less of a chance of being ruined because no one's watching. It's kind of like if Coke made a new Coke that cost them quarter of the money, but they could sell for the same price. Exactly. I think this is called like shrinkflation, where instead of the, you know, uh, the price of the Coke going higher, they're basically making an inferior version with less substances, less resources made, but selling at the same price. If everyone hated it, but kept buying it anyways, they keep making it because dollar dollar, dollar is the goal. Now, I think that the viewership numbers are not going to give them positive signals. Take Velma, for example, right? Or other like rage bait shows. Sure, you got a lot of eyes, but you know what people do? They start talking about it. They start criticizing about it. Everyone unites. They have this opinion that this is a mid shitty anime. Sure, people watched it, but do you think they're going to buy the DVDs? Do you think they're going to buy the other things that's actually necessary to greenlight future projects? I think there is value in farming drama like this. We're 99% screwed with only 1% chance of hope. And that's the thing. You only need 1%, baby. It's not zero. So is there no hope for the remaining episodes? Nobody knows that. We have to just basically wait and figure out for ourselves. We're so screwed. Well, season two per reception will not get a start season greenlit. That's another thing too. One second. You know how I said like we should just basically vote with our wallets. Stop watching, stop consuming, stop buying. If that happens, will future seasons be completely canceled? I'm not completely sure. I think that as long as people are aware, as long as the viewership is there, right? Even if people don't buy DVD merch, stuff like that, as long as people are aware that the manga audience, they love that shit. And when the anime was airing, everyone was checking out, but was very, they had a very negative experience. I don't think that's going to prevent the new studio to come in and pick that shit up. But the existing studios, they'll probably stop. And you know what? Good. Fuck off. Honestly, season three, not greenlit is a good thing. They just butcher it so badly, it would make Record of Ragnarok anime look like a master beast. Yo, I hear that Record of Ragnarok Uzumaki is actually competing with the likes of Tower of God and Blue Lock in terms of animation. I saw the Uzumaki clip of the guy just kind of falling down a hole, like peak horror, huh? I wonder what Ito is thinking, Mr. Junji. He says, even if we tried to make the animation further, the director would eliminate as many frames as possible to meet the deadline. That's the craziest shit. The animators are literally, like, animating. But, like, the final, like, the final, like, uh, filtering process of whether or not it gets included in the episode is like, yo, nope, we're not gonna put that in. It's a waste. No time to put this shit in. Nope. So fucking stupid. I'll, bra I'll brainwash myself into liking it and lower my standards so far down that I'll be pleasantly surprised that there's more than two frames. This is another phenomenon happening where it's like, bro, the standard of seasonal anime is so poor that a mid-anime actually moving frames makes me excited. And maybe this is their great plan at the end of the day. To have such shitty experiences that now mid feels good. You know what I mean? It's like a massive psyop. We're all getting like... <laughs> fucking... It's like a, it's a psychological effect where because now we have a reference point of something so bad that mid looks peak. Holy shit, this is sad, bro. Let's see. Chile in person here. I'm pretty sure caparo just means cut out. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Limited cut, sure. Is it possible to watch 22 cut scenes, you know, cut scenes that didn't make it? Yeah, that'd be nice. Fucking just release the behind the scenes footage or some shit, bro. The extended cut. Blame Bandai if y'all want. I think that's the um, overall producers in the, uh, in the committee. But on the other hand, anyone who thought we'd get decent animation when the studio announced season 2 and had a freaking movie within a year. And I hear the Nagi movie actually was garbage too, bro. Was delusional in the first place and doesn't know how it works to make an anime. 
Also, while I'm riding the Copium Train to U20 match, normally we get worse animation the longer the season goes. Ah, shit. But yeah, all you have to do is honestly just look at the project that 8-Bit Studios has taken. Compare season, like, uh, season 1 and Season 2. Like, that's why Season 1 Blue Lock, even if the people are complaining, because they were only focused on two projects and focusing on Blue Lock, it looked pretty fucking good. But 2024, bro, they picked up so much bullshit and they ruined Mahoka. I genuinely believe Irregular Magic High School got done so dirty. Bro, that steeplechase arc was so hyped up for what? It was such an anticlimactic ending. I am so frustrated. They ruined one of my favorite series, Mahoka. Tensura as well. Tensura got like, you know, in a like, like a passing grade. But is that what you want? A fucking passing grade for one of the great isekais? That's insane. Everyone wants to copy Demon Slayer route, but they take the cheaper version. And that's the thing with Demon Slayer. Ufotable is able to dish out just amazing products, but every other studio, they can't. So we just get fucking nid, bro. I guess that's what happens when you have, you know, the fake Grand Order and the uh, tax evasion money just, <laughs> just, just funding everything. Like the investor wasting money in AI and wanting to work product in six months. 8-Bit also has a problem that they have literally no experience with sports anime except Season 1 and Blue Lock, which makes the timetable management even worse than it already was. MHA did the same things, blah blah blah. This community really finna have Meliodas versus Escanor moment rip, guys. And Chibi made a video, right? <laughs> There's a video where it's like, seven deadly frames, you know? That, you know, I, I, I think that was the battle, right? Every time we bring up, you know, seven deadly frames, <laughs> is this shit? Is this shit? Is this shit? Is this shit if you can't see it, right? It's this shit. This is looking good now. People are saying this is looking good now. That is the current state of anime. What in the fuck is happening? Let's see. Oh, so the animation committee is cosplaying the Japanese Football Association from Blue Lock. That's actually such a meta joke. You know, in Blue Lock, basically, there is that committee that's very anti-Blue Lock project. You know, the fucking boomers and the exec committee that's against Mr. Ego. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Blue Lock committee, same shit. I already knew 8-Bit wasn't saving any for U20, but having it basically confirmed is still bitter. The U20 match could have brought in so many new fans and the anime as a whole could have become a staple for sports anime fans. But aside from manga readers, most people will probably drop this anime for the third selection come to an end, which is like, what a shame. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm gonna be basic. We're all gonna be having fun. It's honestly like really fun to watch a shitty anime together and laugh at it and also farm the drama. It, it doesn't matter if an anime is good or bad. Reaction channels will farm both sides. We keep winning. When this is over, I hope they will never work on season three. True. Honestly, here's what I hope. And this will never happen. Because, like, this just doesn't make sense. But if the employees could just fucking walk out and get another job. And if, they, and if the employees had way better, like, you know, labor movements, labor rights, had unions, everything to give them, like, a security net to make them literally walk out of the project and this shit to get canceled and some other studio to pick it up, I would fucking love that shit. And I will wait as long as it takes. Spanish speaker here. Capadas means neutered. Got it? Wow, what an embarrassment. The committee just as bad as the one in Blue Lock. More meta memes. I just want people to explain to me how this is even logical. Best-selling manga in 2023. So more money was generated. Still, it got the worst animation out of any other series. You're killing a cash cow right here. And this is the thing. This makes no sense. And it's the same thing with Tobate and Tensura. It's just like, I think that... These production committees trying to pump out so much fucking mid animes on a seasonal basis is so short-sighted. They can only see the tree in front of them when they don't realize they can harvest the entire forest. If they had a passion project, just like Frieden, if they, it, all it takes is one amazing fucking anime. One amazing anime to make such a big impact that an entire generation of anime watchers will start watching and fund the new era. But then there's these insane scenarios where blue lock clearly deserves something like that yet the higher ups the corporate suits decided nah let's just min max even though and 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 it's probably because it's a little bit more of like a gamble it's a long-term thing right people are only focused on short-term gains they're like not nah, 
even if it may be possible, right, to just pour in love and resources into this project to make it big, there is not guarantee that it will pop off. Therefore, we will commit to a mid thing where we're going to min max the resources to fill our pockets and just kill the series. That just kills me. A conflict of interest that happens anytime you have corporate greed and money being the driving factor when it comes to art. It's just so fucking sad. Momentum. If the anime is bad, then it will sell ass. Even I won't buy the Blu-ray edition. No one should buy this shit. Nobody should be buying the Blu-ray for Blue Lock right now. Blue Lock is my favorite manga besides One Piece. Go support the manga instead. Momentum. Blue Lock the manga still sells like hotcakes. So they want to capitalize on the show as quickly as possible. That's it, bro. Literally just greedy corporate suits that don't give a fuck about Blue Lock, that don't even understand the potential of money they could be making, focuses on short-term gains. Be grateful, guys. At least we get more than 8 bits. That's a funny meme, but nah, we should not be grateful for this shit. We should know better. You should have a better standard of expectation for yourself. I'm grateful that at least the season premiered after more than a year of waiting. However, it's disappointing to get a great gem like this is ruined by the studio. It's, again, when, it, when, we, when people say studio, it's not the animators. It is the production committee, the people involved in decision making to see what projects the studio will be working on. It was a good run, boys, except no one is running in Blue Lock. Arsenal fan here. Coping is a lifestyle at this point. Gonna keep huffing copium. Meta soccer memes. Said since jumps that the production committee was to blame here. Episode Nagi wasn't all that bad, with comparable quality to Core 1 in majority of matches. But here's the thing, when you say it wasn't all that bad, I want you to know, if you have to defend your series saying it wasn't that bad, you're already self-reporting that it's not good either. Nothing peak will you ever defend the show by saying it wasn't all that bad. The moment you say it wasn't all that bad, you and I both know it's fucking mid, bro. And that's pretty much it. Alright, uh, just more comments, more comments, just people just upset, and who wouldn't be upset if this is your favorite series, and you see so much potential, and the animator is also saying they're cutting our shit out. I'd be fucking upset. No consumer should ever support this series. If you want to just stop watching my reactions as well, go ahead. Stop it. I'm going to keep farming and spread this news and saying Blue Lock is fucking ass. Do not buy the DVDs. Do not buy any merch. Voice your opinions. And as soon as you hear a kid saying, No, you guys are just haters. You're so lucky that Blue Lock even fucking happened. Smack him in the head with some fucking logic. Make them grow up and to have a better standard of expectations for yourself. Because if you're fine with being served dog shit, you will be given dog shit.